cells are the building blocks of life, the smallest living part of your body. The average adult human has 37 trillion of them. If we can understand the cell types and cell states that are involved in disease, we can better diagnose and treat problems and understand which therapies will work with which patients. So all diseases involve cells, whether they're damaged, such as in stroke, whether they're missing, such as in type 1 diabetes, or whether they've gone rogue, such as in cancers. When we get sick or when we get a disease, it means that our cells are not functioning as they should be. But finding a way to comprehensively study individual cells has been difficult. That is until recently, with the development of cellular genomics. There's been this amazing technological revolution that's allowed us to peer inside individual cells at a scale never before imagined. So just as more powerful lenses allow us to zoom in closer and closer to a subject, this new technology has taken us from blurry information on a tissue to this beautiful high-resolution data on millions of individual cells, some of which were previously invisible. Cancer is a really good example because previously we looked at a tumour as a whole, as in all the cells together. However, every tumour is unique to an individual and contains unique cells within it. If we can understand the molecular mechanisms that are going on within individual cells, then we can start to choose combinations of therapies that can kill all the cells in a tumour. So we started using cellular genomics technology about four years ago in my lab, and the first experiments we ran involved us sequencing 47 cells. And in just four years, now this lab is sequencing 800,000 cells per month. But along with these new technologies come many new challenges, including how big these data sets are. We are generating data on millions of cells and thousands of molecules within each cell. It's vital to have a community of scientists working on these challenges so that together we can address a huge range of questions. We are a group of experts in technology, computer science and biology, leading the way with cellular genomics. We are working with clinical doctors to understand how we can impact medicine. This includes major projects with our international partners, such as the Human Cell Atlas, which aims to map every single cell in the human body as a reference with which to frame health and disease. And really through understanding cellular profiles, we're able to do things better, such as create new diagnostics for diseases, to be able to develop new drugs that target individual cell types, and understand why some people respond to cancer therapies and others do not. We could potentially even generate new for old replacement cells. So if someone has a disease that involves one cell type, we could conceivably engineer cells for the health of that patient. The power of cellular genomics is in revealing detailed information about health and disease that we could never have otherwise known about. And the field is attracting interest from governments, philanthropists, and investors around the world, which is fantastic because the more support these efforts receive, the more we can achieve. The future implications of this technology are limitless. And a crucial part of this work is happening right here in Australia.